Raising Children in a New Country. Refugee and immigrant families come to the United States with a wealth of parenting strengths, drawing on culture, tradition, and family experience. Like most parents in the U.S., they tend to be responsible and nurturing, and have often sacrificed tremendously to provide their children with an opportunity for safety and success in this new country. At the same time, it is clear that newcomer parents often need assistance adapting to a new physical environment with unaccustomed dangers, the loss of extended family and community support, the ineffectiveness and sometimes illegality of traditional methods of discipline, and their children's new and often unfamiliar Americanized behaviors. Unfortunately, the challenges of parenting in a new environment, combined with difficult financial circumstances and the stress of family role changes, can sometimes lead to these newcomers' involvement with the child welfare system. Adapted from Brick's Illustrated Handbook, this module was created for agencies serving refugees and immigrants in order to support their efforts to ensure that newcomer parents have the basic information they need about U.S. laws and parenting practices. Although newcomers may find the module useful by itself, it is primarily intended for case managers and other service providers to use together with their refugee and immigrant clients. The module is targeted to newcomer parents with low levels of English proficiency and or low literacy levels. Since the often complex concepts illustrated here are necessarily simplified, the resource section provides easy to access information for service providers to supplement the basic points in this module. For best results, BRICS recommends using this module in culturally appropriate parent support groups, preferably run by at least one experienced newcomer parent of the same ethnicity and one U.S.-born parent, where refugee and immigrant parents can ask questions, try out new behaviors, and find positive support to help ease their transition. This module emphasizes the following five themes. One, nurture. Since the pace of life is often fast in the U.S. and both parents may be expected to work, finding time to spend with children can be challenging. Activities such as family meals and bedtime can be important opportunities for nurture and for continuing cultural traditions. Two, supervision and protection. Parents are responsible for supervising their own children in the U.S., both inside and outside the home, and for keeping children safe from harm. Three, structure and limits. In this fast-paced life, it helps children if parents maintain a daily schedule or routine and set limits or rules about things such as eating junk food, using the internet, video games, or TV, helping with household chores, and playing with friends. Such structure can also help support and reinforce discipline and respect. Four, discipline and respect. Discipline methods vary by culture. Common methods in the U.S. include positive reinforcement, timeouts, limiting privileges, or establishing consequences. It is important to know what is acceptable here and what is not, so that newcomer families can then adapt these methods for their own use, or come up with blended methods that work for their family. Regardless, discipline is most effective when applied consistently and when desired behavior is modeled by parents. Five, educational participation. The expectation for parental involvement in children's education is new to some refugee and immigrant parents since education is viewed as primarily the teacher's responsibility in many countries. In the U.S., parents are expected to participate in their children's education by meeting with teachers and attending school events. At home, parents can assist with their children's homework and encourage regular reading and other educational activities. This module focuses mainly on parenting younger children. Establishing good communication and discipline when children are younger provides an important basis for maintaining good relationships with teenagers. For more information on raising children in a new country and working with refugee parents, please visit the resource section of this module.